David Martosco for the DailyMail.com. Breaking news about uh, Uma Abedin and Hillary emails to be released. The State Department is said to release portions of the 2800 of Hillary Clinton aide Uma Abedin's work related emails and other documents all recovered last year by the FBI on a laptop belonging to her estranged husband, Anthony Weiner. Tom Fitton, president of the center-right government transparency group Judicial Watch, tweeted on Thursday afternoon that State would publish re uh, releasable portions of the documents on Friday. Fitton asked whether President Donald Trump's Justice Department would finally take action on Clinton Abedin misdeeds. Weiner handed his computer over to federal ins investigators as the FBI probed allegations that he had been sexting with an underage girl, a story first broken by DailyMail.com. Tom Fitton at State Department will publish releasable portions of 2,800 government docs that FBI found on Anthony Weiner's laptop tomorrow. December 29th, again, thanks to judicial watch lawsuits at Real Donald Trump, DOJ finally takes action on Clinton Abedin misdeeds. Weiner was sentenced to 21 months in prison in September over his texting. Okay. And Judicial Watch has pressed uh, in court for the public release of emails and other materials from Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State. The Freedom of Information Act lawsuit that resulted in Friday's coming document dump was filed in May of 2015. Fitton told Daily Mail on Friday that it's outrageous that Clinton and Aberdeen walked out of the State Department with classified documents and the Obama FBI and DOJ didn't do a thing about it. We expect that we will be told that some of these classified materials were on Wiener's laptop which is highly disturbing let's uh, hope it spurs a long-needed clinton special counsel or at least a serious criminal investigation he added the state department has said that its preliminary view review suggested a significant portion of the material may be duplicative of other material that has already been made public but Fitton still believes Clinton and Aberdeen, her longtime aide and deputy chief of staff, committed crimes by exchanging classified material in private emails connected to Clinton's now infamous homebrew server. This is a disturbing development, Fitton said, in September after the State Department revealed how many government emails and other documents ended up on Wiener's PC. Our experience with Aberdeen's email suggests that Wiener's laptop documents will include classified and other sensitive material. The FBI investigated Clinton emails but closed the probe during last year's presidential election. In 2016, then FBI Director James Comey hosted a press conference announcing the FBI would recommend to the Department of Justice that Democratic nominee Clinton would not be charged for mishandling classified information. While Comey called Clinton extremely careless in her handling of sensitive information, he also said that no reasonable prosecutor would bring a criminal case against her. Uh, then in October, Comey wrote a letter to lawmakers informing them of new emails found on Wiener's computer, a revelation that threw Clinton Clinton's campaign into a tailspin. Just days after Comey's letter was made public, the FBI announced that nothing new had been found and that the case against Clinton had been closed again. But Judicial Watch sued again, demanding all emails of official State Department business received or sent by former Deputy Chief of Staff Uma Abedin from January 1, 2009 through February 1st 2013 using a non-state.gov email address. Well, they're going to be released and uh, basically that's it. We'll keep uh, an eye out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again, thank you so much for watching.